Hello again, my friends, and welcome back to my Terraria playthrough, episode 36. Today we're going to be kind of switching things up. We're going to get off of the path of um, progression that we've been going, and we're going to do a little bit of cleanup, I think is the best way to describe it. Uh, if that sounds like fun to you, go ahead and leave a like on this video, and remember to subscribe to the channel for more Terraria content coming at you in the future so i've been hard at work off camera uh, as you can see i got pants on this crystal assassin now because i probably just finished fighting the queen slime at least 10 times i have i fought her a lot because i was getting gel because i was making asphalt blocks which you can make with two stone and one gel in this blendomatic that i got from the steampunker this asphalt block allows us to run faster on it without having to do anything special. So it just increases movement speed while we're on it. Uh, this was important because my plan today is to start sectioning off our world to help contain the corruption and also to mold the landscape the way we want it. Um, so the way we're going to do this, and I don't know, I would have to check to see if we still have one. But we're going to start at one side of the map, all the way to the right side, or all the way to the left side. I haven't decided which side to start from. I think I'm going to start from the right, though, because the left side has our... The right, or the left side has the dungeon, and I don't want to, like, go through the dungeon yet. Um, but what could I be talking about? Well, I am planning on making a underground tunnel that stretches from one side of the map to the to the other. So it's gonna be a massive tunnel. And the reason why I wanna do this is just easier traversing, first of all. But then also, as I was saying, um, being able to section off our world is something that um, is becoming a little bit more important to me because I'd like to get every biome that we can get. We still need a surface mushroom biome, which I did find out that we can do up in the sky. And also, um, we just need um, more pylons to travel around. And I also want to do a better job with these neighborhoods because these houses are sad. I'd like to make better houses. And so, yeah, we're going to make our way to the ocean on the right side. That's going to take us through the jungle, past our arena, as you can see here. Like I said, fought queen slime so many times here um, I am loving the 1.4.4 update it's been so good to me um, I've been really enjoying the stacking first of all seeing this thing go up to 9999 is pretty insane um, so that's been nice look at how far this hollow has gotten oh but thankfully it's blocked off by this living wood tree at least a little bit for now uh, but that's not good. This is why I want to section off the world. This is why it's really important to me. I don't want that hollow to get out of hand. We have the contaminator now. But um, I'd like to section off. It's going to make that whole situation just so much easier. I just remembered I could have pylon traveled over here. I didn't have to run. But it gives me some time to talk to you guys. This video is going to be a lot of time lapsing, I believe. Uh, just because we're going to be trying to make it across the world. But I do have a little bit of a setup that lets us mine really fast. Look at We've got corruption in our jungle, which is not good at all. I don't know how much of this was jungle, but we'll, f we'll fix it. We will definitely fix it. I am not worried about it. We'll get it. We'll get it fixed. That's what we're doing today. That's why we're starting this. Um, so you guys might notice in my in my bar, I have a pickaxe axe um, as well as the Drax. Uh, I did this because the the reach on this is a little bit more handy for us. Um, and also, I, I was reading and I was kind of confused. Maybe somebody has an answer, um, but I was hoping to be able to use like mining potions and stuff. And it seemed as though the Drax and the um, like drills don't actually get any increases in speed from things like that. Um, 
which is a bit of a bummer, um, if that's true. If not, then just forget that I said that. Uh, but that's that's why I got the pickaxe axe because this thing is fast off camera I also found full mining gear. I mixed the mining helmet with our night vision goggles and got uh, This ultra bright helmet. So now increased mining speed on all of this as well as 10% for each of these uh, pieces of the um, The pieces of the equipment, sorry um, and then I also have a chisel, I have a treasure magnet, I have a cement mixer for wall placement. We're hoping that the traveling merchant stops by a lot um, while we're digging this tunnel. I don't think it's going to take us too long, but we'll want that uh, because he's going to sell a bunch of these items that we can turn into something called the Hand of Creation, which is something I really want because it's going to combine all of these into one item and that would be very nice. So, also, I forgot to mention, so, I did not think that the crab was going to be hostile. Um, loadouts, a new feature for 1.4.4. These loadouts actually let you go from, so I have my main armor, frost armor, with my, um, with my fossil equipment, which is the main um, aesthetic that we have. But we can switch over to loadout 2 and now I have my mining gear on and I could switch between these without having to go into the inventory. I could just press F1 to go to my first loadout and F2 to go to my second loadout. And I am loving that feature. So what I want to do is I want to get underneath the lowest point in this ocean, which is all the way to the right. It's against the wall. You see how it goes down. Well, what I want to do is find out how low this is. Now, I guess I don't actually, now that I think about it, I don't actually have to go underneath the ocean. I've been trying to think of how in the world am I going to do under the ocean, but I don't have to. I can start from here. So we can start from, say, go ahead and start from here. I love that the axe cuts down, cuts down trees as well. And we're going to go down. Look at how fast this is, by the way. So this is with my main set of armor on. Let's kill these guys as they come towards us. Let's put some torches down. I, I re-watched my video from last week and I saw how dark it was when I was looking for the ice golem. So here is with my, with my normal armor on with the pickaxe axe. That's the speed. So we go down at this speed. Okay, but now look at when we get our full setup on for our mining gear. We're gonna switch over to that. And look at this. <laughs> so I don't know about you guys, but I am not worried whatsoever about our uh, digging this tunnel across. I think it's gonna be just fine. <laughs> The hardest part is going to be dealing with enemies as they come along. Um, so I wanted to go underground, so I'm glad that we were able to find our way underground. Let's not get killed by this guy. He's going to try. Blast him with the shotgun. Okay, so we are just a bit underground. Let's get back into our original gear. Is this far enough down? It is six feet underground. It is about, it is pretty low below the surface. I think we might go a little bit lower. I think I'm gonna go to 50 feet underground. I think that's the sweet spot. Um, I'm not gonna switch over to my mining gear because I wanna go a little slower so I can see the numbers. So I want our floor to be at 50. So what this means is that our asphalt is going to go right here, which we will start laying down now, but we're not going to do anything. We're not going to place all of it quite yet. But I want the asphalt here so that we're standing at 50. Let's get that back. 
this tunnel itself is going to be I think I wanted to do nine blocks tall I think I do need to destroy the rest of this here um, now nine blocks tall means that we will probably be well let's look at it this way where are my gray bricks I'm going to Okay, we got the asphalt here, which apparently I dug up a block on accident. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that would be eight. With the roof there would be eight. I think I like this. So what I want is the ceiling to be there. I want the ceiling to be there and all I'm gonna do is quite literally go all the way across the map with this which is why we want to be able to dig this fast <laughs> instead of as fast as we were doing it before so my intention is to make a time lapse uh, because you guys seem to like the last one so I'm gonna do a time lapse of this um, which I will start now. So I did get a notification that the traveling merchant has shown up, um, which is good. So we've gotten, I would say we've probably done about like 300 blocks, maybe 500 blocks at this point. Um, not quite. It's going to take a while. And I was very, I was very aware that it would take a while to finish this project. Um, but it's definitely not going to stop me from doing it. I think this is going to be... Um, really beneficial to us and I think that it'll be cool to see the final project product once we're done um, So I did notice that we've made it to the corruption over here, which was a good distance away So I am actually surprised that we made it here already um, But that said Since the traveling merchants here, we're probably gonna go see what's up with them you guys see during the time lapse when I killed the gnome on accident but look at this is without any sprinting equipment whatsoever so this is the asphalt and here is with the ability to sprint look at how fast that we we're able to run across this thing we're going 65 miles per hour and with this one we are going 54 miles per hour kind of 54 and a half really um, so this is a huge benefit. It's gonna get us across so much faster. Um, but let's find out where is the traveling merchant located? He's down here, which is perfect. The best location for him to come for us is in the little cavern neighborhood because we are right there at all times. I was testing the speed of the pickaxe down there. That's why, <laughs> that's why this little dent is here. So look at our tunnel is gonna go right through here which is exactly where like that's exactly where I was hoping it would go so we have it looks like unfortunately nothing that we want they got the master gamers pants and jacket we don't want that the heart hairpin we don't need white team platform don't need unfortunately he does not have anything that we would want 13 gold from him okay let's go ahead oh also I knew that this would be good because look at how much dirt and sand and 
stone we're getting. We're never going to run out of this stuff. It's so much easier to collect it as well since we've got the since we've got the um, the new update that allows us to one second sorry the we have the ability to now quick stack things and whatnot <laughs> I don't remember what I was going with that but I was trying to read the 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 pone hammer I thought I had a better one than that but it doesn't seem as though we do um, so you can see the headway we're making on this tunnel you can see kind of that it's gonna go right here where the traveling merchant is so it's gonna be kind of a perfect um, height there and it'll be a little bit low on this side because it seems like our world dips quite a bit there but that's gonna go straight to our base that's a, I feel like it's a really good level for us to use uh, but I'm going to go ahead and head back over there now and continue working on the tunnel. this so I've completed up until the jungle so the beginning of the jungle biome meaning that whenever we 
continue to build this tunnel we can teleport straight here jump down and keep building it we'll keep going until we get to the next one which is going to be the desert here which is still quite a bit away about half as long as we've already done but look at look at this we've got all the way underneath this crimson all the way across to the jungle and seeing the map this way tells me that right here would be a good place to break up the jungle and the crimson. Um, although it does look like maybe the crimson has come over to this side already at this point. Uh, but a contaminator will fix that. So that might be worth that might be worth doing. Um, but I think for now I'm going to take a break. Um, and then I will continue digging this tunnel heading towards the desert uh, this time I won't time lapse it I will just I will just cut it because that's a long <laughs> lot of a lot of time lapse happening there so I will be right back all right guys I'm back and look at the map now <laughs> so I made it all the way from the right coast all the way past our base to our first little drop point where we wanted to protect our um, base from crimson and so we made a lot of progress it took me a very 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 long time <laughs> to get this done but we did it I love how it looks it's a straight line we did perfectly no ups and downs it's just a straight line all the only thing I had to do in terms of our base is I had to move um, our tax collector and our merchant down because uh, they were actually stacked right here. But this actually perfectly lined up with these guys right across the top of their house and then right across the top of this as well. Um, this trench that I dug the first time. So that ended up working out really well for us. So we can kind of run down and see our world from underneath at the moment. Um, we've got a lot, and I mean a lot, of hollow this way. Um, this is where the um, V hit our um, hit our world, so the hollow came this direction. Um, and it took out a good chunk. I, I won't lie, it did, it did do quite a bit of damage here. But, that being said, this is our first step into really clearing it up. I love this. So now the nice thing is if we clear anything up on the top, we don't have to worry about the bottom part of the map spreading up to our surface. And so this is going to be relatively foolproof. Look at I missed the spot. I thought I had seen a spot that was just dirt, but I think that was an area where I drained this water out because there's so much water that we had to dig through. I can only imagine how much more there's going to be on the other side because we did a pretty good job here, but I have a feeling that the next one will, or the other side will be a little bit tougher. And I think that's just because of my luck in the game so far. So this is four across. I actually wanted to make this six across um, to make it uniform with the other ones. So let's go ahead and we're gonna dig down just like, dig straight down. My smart cursor is not working. There we go. I guess I wasn't pointing down far enough or something. This is the reason why I didn't switch into our mining gear. It's because I saw that guy jumping on top of our head. So we went this here. And on this side we're going to have... This is going to go all the way up to the top. All the way up here. This is our little... This is our dead end end of the road now this is really more for um, 
This is more for containment than it is for aesthetic or even for traveling. Uh, because the pylons are going to be our main form of travel across the map, I would guess. Um, I could be wrong, I guess. And we could end up using this more than I expect. But I definitely think at the moment I'm having in mind that this will be much more for... Much more for keeping the crimson and the hollow contained than it will be for actually, like making our way through the map with because we have so many more forms of transportation that we can use including hopefully soon we can get I guess it's called a shell phone a new item that was made for 1.4.4 uh, 1. 4. 4. 7 which means that if we go up here like I want to then we will be good to go. But the shell phone actually allows you to um, travel to specified points instead of just spawning home, which I don't know about you guys, but that sounds like an amazing tool. But we do know how hard it is to make the cell phone because we have been talking about that for a few episodes now. And the traveling merchant just refuses to have any good items for us. <laughs> so hopefully, within the near future, we're able to we're able to make that cell phone. Uh, if anybody has any tips for the traveling merchant to maybe have items that we need, that would be amazing. Um, I really don't know. First of all, I don't know why I have a crimson to torch because the torch god is supposed to make all my torches the right biome and this is not the crimson. We made sure of that. <laughs> a squid. I don't think I've seen a squid yet. Kind of cool. All right, so now we have, it's like a sideways elevator, <laughs> a tunnel that goes from the right side of the map all the way to our base. What's going to be next, and I'll probably do this off camera, or I could do it now, maybe. Um, we want to prevent... The crimson from spreading in certain directions specifically we don't want it to take over this beach and that's why we that's why we've done ourselves the favor of separating this but what this is what we're gonna want to do is make sure that no crimson can get to the beach whatsoever and in order to do that we're gonna go from here and we are going to dig down from here, put platforms across, and we're going to section off the world all the way down to the underworld to where nothing can get over to this side unless we allow it to happen. And I actually want to show you guys how fast we can dig down. <laughs> and so that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to show you guys how fast we can dig down. And we'll see if we could time it to see how quick we can get to the underworld from here. Look at this. <laughs> Isn't this crazy? I've played Terraria so much in the past and I've never dug this fast before. This is like, it's a new thing for me for sure. When we're not in water, it goes even faster. Like it, we can find all kinds of secrets just by digging down now. The only problem is that with this armor, it's a little bit harder to traverse. So it, it's good to flip around with each of these. Really nothing that we ever need ever again <laughs> in those gold chests. We're way past that. I'm just making sure we're still going in a straight line. That's all.
So we're gonna keep going down. Here we got some granite here. The water actually helps us because like I said, we don't have fall damage protection. And so this is almost necessary for us to do. Um, so we actually have to do this like two or three times because um, our um, containment is going to depend on us being able to get four blocks apart from um, any crimson. And so that's what we're going to do here is I'm going to come down all the way down to the underworld. We're, we're going to we're gonna make it. Oh, did you guys see that? Oh, we need to be careful here. Because we don't have any protection from lava. So we're going to switch over to where we do. And we are going to continue down here through the lava because we have a little bit of protection from that. Perfect. Well, not perfect. It could have been better. But <laughs> Watch the lava go down, 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 down. Oh, there's an old shaking chest over here, which I found out while I was um, grinding in the, the new world that I had. I found out that that's actually a pet slime that you can have in your world, which sounds amazing. I definitely want one, uh, but that requires us to have the, it requires us to have a gold key on us at all times, and I don't always have a gold key on me, so unfortunately that's not always possible for me to do, and bam, we're all the way down to the underworld. That was with a few detours along the way as well, so I am very curious to see how fast that was. Let's check out the traveling merchant and then we will probably call it an episode here. I would like to see if the traveling merchant has anything that we need. The DPS meter. This is something we need. Perfect. It's the first time in a while that he has actually had something that we needed. <laughs> like I'm not joking. We, he never has anything that we need. Look at a pet butterfly. Uh, that's very tempting actually, but we're not gonna worry about it at the moment. I accidentally broke your roof here. Sorry about that. Okay, and apparently his door as well. Sorry, sir. Give him his door back. All right. So now you can see, as long as there's no corruption on this side, and I'll go down one more time in a straight line, but as long as there's no corruption on this side of the world already, this will be completely safe from any form of corruption. Um, because now when we break altars, thanks to update 1.4.4, it's not going to put a random bit of crimson or hollow in our world. So we're going to be safe here. Um, and so we're going to do this um, sporadically around to kind of section off our underground areas and keep everything together because I want... So we have the underground desert here and this whole thing I'm pretty sure by now is underground hollow. Which is okay but it's definitely not... We don't want all of it to be underground hollow. Like I'd be cool with this part being underground hollow because it is in the hollow biome over here but I want this desert to be a desert you know and so we're gonna section that off and we're gonna make that possible oh look at oh good times it's our uh, our queen bee farm we're gonna be over here soon looking for plantera a bulb for plantera to fight that's gonna be a lot of fun uh, very difficult though <laughs> oh look it here it is <laughs> I didn't know you could see it on the uh, I didn't know you could see it on the map but there it is Plantera's bulb is right there so the good thing about seeing this here is that now we know 
when we make an arena, we're going to want to make it kind of in this area here somewhere. Because we're going to want to get or give ourselves a big arena so that we can fight Plantera in. And anyways, that's kind of foreshadowing what the plan is for the week. As always, thank you for watching. I've been your host, Bubasaurus. If you like this video, feel free to like it if you want. And if you'd like to see more Terraria content in the future, subscribe to the channel. And remember to always be on your Bubasaurus best. Thank you.